So this man has been lame from his mother's womb. They carry him out to this, this gate, going into the temple, and they lay him down. Verse 3, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, look at us. So he gave him his attention, accepting to receive something from them. But Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Jesus had said that you would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. Here he's commanding in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to rise up and walk. Verse seven, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he leaping up stood and walked and entered the temple with them walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Now, this miracle, God regenerates the muscle. So he's able to get up and and walk. Someone who has never been able to walk would have had their muscles that would be atrophied. Uh, There is a video that you can watch online of a woman that had been in a wheelchair for a significant amount of time. And she was at a prayer meeting and she felt some sensation in her legs. So she went up and asked to be prayed for. And they prayed for her and they lifted her up out of the wheelchair and they walked her around the room. And she had to, she, she she was healed. She was able to walk, but she had to learn how to walk. This miracle didn't include the, the muscles were still atrophied she had to basically go through physical therapy to learn how to walk because although the legs would work now, God had touched them somehow when they worked. So here, this guy's jumping and leaping and praising God and people are in amazement. This is happening in the temple. It's happening by Peter and John. Peter, who is probably the most recognizable of the disciples to us, I would think would be the most recognizable of the people who were there as well. And this man's life was transformed. It was never going to be the same. Now, this really is a picture of what Jesus does in our lives when we come to Christ. When we come to him, we are, we're new. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things pass away and all things become new. This man who in the name of Jesus was allowed to walk, it's like when we come to Christ, there are things that we don't see that God regenerates and does a work inside of us. That, if, that is, if there is a genuine salvation experience. Romans 3, 23 and 24 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, but justified, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. That is, we were all lame, And we all had to come to Christ. We all needed to be given the strength to walk with him. And now we now are able to walk with him and our lives are transformed. So I think that's the picture that we see of this man who had never been able to walk. He was born unable to walk. We were born unable to have a relationship with him. Jesus provided the way on the cross. If we receive him and believe in him, then we will be able to have that transforming relationship with him. If you're here today, You've never had a commitment with Christ. You've never believed in him. You've never begun to follow him. There is a life that he has for you. Maybe you're struggling now. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're like, I like my life as it is. Thank you very much. But maybe God's been doing something in revealing some things to you of what you need, that you need him in your life. Billy Graham used to say, there's a God-shaped hole inside of everyone and only God can fill it. And that's really true. And, and you either realize that or you don't. And God takes people to places where they realize it and go, I need him in my life. I'm ready to start living for him. This man suddenly came in contact with Christ through an apostle and, get, and had his life transformed and changed. 